If you're looking at rolling your own instead of using an existing service, uh, take into consideration the time that you're going to spend working on that service could be spent making your game a lot better. PlayFab allows you to get uh, a lot of the functionality that you would typically need right out of the box, right on day one. You just have to look through the documentation, install the libraries, and within an hour or two, uh, if this is your first project, uh, within an hour or two, you can be up and running. If you've used PlayFab before, you can get done a lot quicker. Uh, and that lets you get past the part that requires server data and more focus on making your game fun. They're fantastic to work with. We've had a lot of support and um, my developers have had, had no issues uh, getting the, the software integrated. What I would say to people that don't think they need stuff like PlayFab is game development is, is grueling uh, and it takes a lot of very talented people and a lot of skills to come together. A few people can make something that, that has a profound impact. I mean, uh, if you take like Minecraft for example, like this, that's probably the most pointed example in our generation of a game made by, started by one guy and it's turned into a cultural phenomenon. It's, it's reached past the game industry and become something very special. So PlayFab is part of a collection of tools of people that, that realize that you don't need to redo all of this very hard work. Um, and I, I thankfully belong to a studio and to a culture where all of my shortcomings are made up for me by other talented people. I have my own things to contribute to a project, right? But having something like PlayFab or Unity or all the, any other software solution is basically, it's almost like having another person on the team that says, hey, I got this, right? And, and the, the more that you can have stuff taken care of, the more you can focus on what you're, you're, you're good at. And in this case, like for me, I was able to, I'm able to just focus on design and balancing and humor and on all the, the stuff that I'm good at. And there's a million things that I don't have to worry about. And that's very liberating. PlayFab provides value for us because uh, our wheelhouse is making games, not making services. Any time we spend making a service is time that we're not spending making games fun. Uh, and that's less valuable to our company than making the fun game. We've had really good experiences with it so far. I think we're not fully using the potential yet, so we've got a lot of plans uh, to, to, I guess, um, grow our game uh, and do more um, by leveraging some of PlayFab's technology and their tools. So um, I would recommend following the same process. Uh, find, find the fun early on with a, with a game prototype and then when you need to expand and scale your game, uh, PlayFab would be an excellent choice. I'd recommend PlayFab because they have the same um, sort of iterative philosophy as we do. Um, they basically want to uh, build to their exactly what their clients need in the interim and they want to get them exactly what they're asked for without saying well we're going to put in this feature and that and this and you're like well I don't really need that for my game so that will take you three months but what you can do in three weeks would actually really support us and they go great we'll get you that and then we'll iterate and as your needs change we'll change the feature set to accommodate what your what you're requiring at that time. So to have a studio that almost is, a, is able to support big AAA games and at the same time harvest or harbor sort of an indie mentality in like, no, let's, let's grow with you, let's get an MVP out there and then let's just build and iterate on it until it's perfect and exactly what you need. When you can get tailor-made tech instead of like just getting it out of the box from like a larger studio that, uh, doesn't care about indies or, 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 or is too big to worry about your specific needs, I think that's where PlayFab has a competitive advantage because they're, they're going, no, no, tell us exactly what you need and we'll build you to suit and then we'll grow with you. And uh, it's awesome. They, they even rejigged their roadmap specifically for us and said, you need this feature by this date? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, let's pull that, let's pull that to the front of the backlog then and we'll make sure that we hit that for you in this quarter. And we're like, that's awesome, and the fact that they'll actually, you know, are a bit malleable for, for the different products and studios is exactly why I would take PlayFab over um, a larger out-of-the-box back-end service. I would recommend PlayFab uh, because as a designer, uh, you always want a wide tool set. You want every, every tool that you can fit into your toolbox uh, is another way that you can delight the audience. So it's another way you can, you can delight the audience. And so PlayFab has, uh, it's allowing us, like, it's sort of a, a cross-section of technical stuff that the audience will never know about, but they don't realize it's making their life, you know, much easier. And uh, a whole bunch of things that we're going to be able to push into our game because of PlayFab that's going to basically redefine it. So it, 
a single tool can actually change the whole canvas. So that's why I would recommend Playfab. We recommend working with Playfab because the team at Playfab has been exceptional in working together with our team. They care about what we're involved with and they work with us every day to make sure our game is a success.